So Google has released a new nearby share app and in this video we'll see how we can share files between PC and Android. For this to work, first download the app from android.com and install it. It will take a few seconds to install. Once it's installed, it should open automatically. Now you can sign in with your Google account or skip it. If you sign in, you won't need to insert your PIN while sending files to your own devices. I'll sign in with my account. After that, you can change your PC's name here. Let's click on done to finish the setup. On this main interface, the app will tell you what's missing. For me, Bluetooth is off. So I'll click here and turn it on. Now it's ready. Let's send a file from our Android device. I'll send this video. To send it, we'll click on the share button in any app. And then, if you see the nearby share option, click on it. If not, click this more button and tap on the nearby share. A new pop-up will appear with your device's name and visibility. It will also ask you to turn on Bluetooth. Ensure that the Wi-Fi on your PC and mobile is also connected to the same router. Otherwise, it won't work. Then it will look for nearby devices. You can see the PC's name here. Tap on it. On your PC, you'll see this notification. We'll click on this accept button to accept the file. We also see a pin here. It's not asking for the pin because on both devices, the same Google account is signed in. Now depending on your Wi-Fi strength, speed, distance and file size, this may take some time. You can see the progress on both devices. Once that's done, you'll see this message. The file is saved in the downloads folder. You can also send files from your PC to your phone. For this, go to notifications on your phone and swipe down to see all icons. Find nearby share and enable it. This will ask you to turn on Bluetooth. Let's do that. On my PC, I'll drag the file I want to share and drop it here. The app will look for devices close by. You'll get a notification on your phone that a device is nearby. On your PC, you'll see your phone. Just click it and the transfer will start. You might need to insert a pin. With this method, you can send any type of file. You can even send folders. When you send a folder, you'll see the total number of files in that folder on your phone. But when it's transferred, the whole folder will be transferred. So this is how you transfer files between PC and Android. Thanks for watching. Take care.